Okay, this problem you can see is a before and after. It says before and after. That's a matched pairs t-test. You have some students here that took a GMAT exam, had some kind of review course, then took the test again. Um, before I put in the calculator, I will go ahead and remark that with the histogram that looks like that, um, based on previous studies, you can see that's a bell curve. So even though we have a sample size of 6 in this problem, that should be sufficiently large to guarantee a bell-shaped sampling distribution if we were to take samples of size 6. So anyway, the sample size is large enough. So um, remember on the before and after that this is really just a one sample t-test after you get the differences. So for example, the first person there, if you would look at x just being the improvement of 20, so 490 minus 470. Um, but let me just set this up on the calculator and show you how to Okay, hit stat, edit, and then I'm going to put either the before or the after into one list. I'll go ahead and just do this in the order that it is. Before is going to go in list one. It's a good idea to take a moment and make sure you have your numbers in uh, correctly. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, I think I have those. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the TI-83 take care of those calculations to get the improvements. Note, up here at the top I've highlighted the L3. I just went above the where I would put the numbers in. And I'm going to say second. I want to I'm going to set my hypothesis, you can do it either way, I'm going to set mine up that they improve, that is they get larger, so my research hypothesis would be mu greater than zero, but that means I want to subtract after, or set to do after minus before. So I'm going to take second two, that's list two, and you can see right above the two on the left hand there it says L2. Um, so I'm going to take the numbers in list two and I'm going to subtract the corresponding numbers in list one. You can see then that'll just fill in the numbers there for how much each person either improved or, or in, case, in one case went down. Okay, so now from this point it's just a one sample t-test based on the numbers in list three. So stat, tests, t-test. And at the top you can in, input either data or statistics. In, in this case we have the actual data so We'll leave that highlighted. Our mu zero is zero, as it will always be in the matched pairs t-test, or at least uh, insofar as we will work the uh, uh, matched pairs t-test. And then our list will be second three, because that's where the x's are at. Don't ever change that frequency thing there. And we want to do greater than, and then calculate. And so you see the t-test value is 2.45, p-value of about 0.029, so at least at the 05 level we would reject HO. Of course if it was at the 0.01 level we would fail to reject HO because 0.029 is not less than 0.01. So just briefly in review, stat, edit, put the numbers into list 1 and 2, then go over to list 3, highlight the L3, and then do second L2, if that's the one, the number that you want, that is going to be the highest, as it is in this case, minus second L1, then stat, tests, t-test, I'm inputting the data, mu zero zero, list three greater than, and calculate. 